Hi, thank you very much. Uh, it's really an honor and pleasure to be in such a beautiful conference. I've attended many, and I think that uh, the crowd that I'm seeing here are, are, are very diverse, and that's very good. So showing us that a plant medicine can unite people from all different parts of the world. I've done this presentation in uh, Barcelona, Amsterdam, a few places. The reason why I keep on reliving this presentation is because for people like you all want to know an understanding. Okay. For people like you all, you want to have a good understanding of what this medicine does. So we looked at taking about 341 clients and we put them through the process of Ibogaine and we started documenting all the experiences. So you're going to get a breakdown of the experience. Uh, obviously, this is basic knowledge. It's a naturally occurring alkaloid extracted from the root Tabernante Iboga, uh, coming from Gabon, Cameroon, and, and um, uh, what's also significant about this, actually the bark has got 12 alkaloids. Is it 12 or got more? 13 alkaloids. No, no, no. And, and the only one that's extracted from there is the ibogaine that has most of the healing properties. And this plant is so significant because the ibogaine is only found on the root bark and the second layer of the root bark, nowhere else. You know, so that's how significant is that. Now, when you look at withdrawals, you know, a lot of them go, go in for treatment in current uh, treatment centers. They are not withdrawal free, and if they are withdrawal free, they are substituted some other medication. Then you get the post acute withdrawals that holds them back. Then their faculty of reasoning, logic, their mind, their memory, that's also not sorted out. Then what about the baggage? You can't ask somebody to recover from any sickness or illness they have until they look at what's the underlying cause. We know that today medicine and spe specifically in addiction, they do not treat the cause, they treat the symptoms. And that's why we don't have such a good result. So this removes withdrawals and very useful to detox all drugs. But just to give you one example, we know heroin withdrawals is the worst uh, type of withdrawals a person can get. Uh, cold turkey, it's not a nice scene to see. You'll cry actually when you see the guy suffers. And we know that they came out with substitution therapy like methadone and buprenorphine. But that is just a synthetic opiate, you know, uh, given to them as a substitute. The beauty of this ibogaine with just one dose, when I mean one dose, it depends according to body weight, the doses are calculated. With one dose over a period of six hours, 90 to 100 percent of the withdrawals are gone like magic. When they walk up next morning, they're completely withdrawal free. Uh, also, the psychotherapeutic maturation, where it gives you a deep insight, you know, uh, into your addiction, why you're doing it. So it basically allows you to do a lot of introspection. And then within 24 to 48 hours, you can put that guy into a treatment center and you work you with a completely different human being. So ibogaine is not really a cure, but it's an addiction interrupter. And it's not only specifically used for addiction. It can help with lots of different problems, especially psychological issues. They say it's 10 years of therapy in one night, 10 years of psychotherapy in one night. And um, also it's been credited with helping users understand reverse their drug using behavior by giving insight into their own lives and remove causes for the addictive behavior and remove cravings. We had people with psychospiritual experience, we had people with post-traumatic stress disorder, depression, it, it worked equally well. Uh, with whatever type of condition. But also you need to understand that we have to get this one fact right. That Ibogaine is currently recognized as a psychedelic plant. And that is not true. Not true at all. Yes, it does help some higher power. But the big mistake people are saying that it's, 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 it, it, it's a psychedelic drug. Now, when you look at somebody go through an Ibogaine experience, when he goes through an Ibogaine experience, he is completely in his sense. He knows where he, are, where he is, he knows his name, he can answer any questions. He's lying down and when he closes his eye, he gets the visuals coming. And the visuals are a lot related to your past. And if you take it the second time, a couple weeks later, you will not get those visions because the first time it's removed it. So what we call it is onorephrenic or remogenic. It's a substance that causes a dream-like experience. So it's exactly like when you're having a dream and you know how real dreams are. And if you're having a dream, but here you're alert and you awake in this dream. So you have a good understanding. Pretty if you don't have any sound bites, there were some short clips 
of people sharing the experience. Okay, we program you three stages, Ibogaine experience, uh, the comment here, I cannot explain why, how or what happened with my experience apart from the fact I believe it's just a miracle. So phase one, which when you give them the test dose, uh, which is be zero to one hour, the person will feel a lowered sense of bodily coordination and sometimes feel need to lie down depending on their tolerance level. Some of them can still walk around with one capsule. And then after that, they, they are taken to the bed where they're given the next dose and that's the phase two experience where they're given the flood dose. But here we insist that they have to be lying in bed because movement tends to cause nausea and vomiting. And we also ask them to fast before that so that, you know, we can prevent the nausea and vomiting because Ibogaine, when it starts working, is very powerful. We don't want the guy to get up and go to the loo because he'll be holding the walls and think he's walking in space, you know. But he'll be able to have a conversation. That's the beautiful about it. Now, once they're given the second dose, you'll see when the eyes close, you'll see like a buzzing sound, like a mosquito buzzing in your ears. I had a patient from Mauritius, uh, when that buzzing sound was happening, he thought it was a mosquito and every minute he slapped in his face, <laughs> trying to kill the mosquito. It also may be sound going through a hollow tube, helicopter, rotor sound. That's a telling you it's starting to take effect. Right. And after a while, they keep your eyes closed and your visuals will start and you have to embrace the visuals. If you try to fight, you, fight it, it hits you harder. And, and, and what the guys do is that a lot of these visuals, they get a bit scared because it's, it's like, I don't think now 3D, day, 3D days are over. It's 4DX days are almost getting over. In Japan, they got 7D. Now, when you're going through the visions with Ibogaine, it's 10D. <laughs> Believe me, it's everything. Okay. And then they start going through this for at least uh, one to seven hours. And then slowly it will start subsiding. And then it will go into the cognitive phase of deep introspection, where now they start be able to evaluate themselves intellectually and the decision they made in my life. Why did I do it this way? I shouldn't have done it this way. Am I stupid? You know, I should have woke up long time ago. And the clarity and greater objectivity gain, which can last up to one month or, or maybe up to three months. Okay, and this time we also encourage him to sleep, although with ibogaine you do have a problem to sleep. Okay, this is some data. This was uh, 314 clients between January 26 to 2010. Uh, we had majority males. Uh, I don't know why these females don't really like going to treatment centers. Uh, uh, I think I know why. A lot of them get abused. Yeah, yeah, a lot of them get abused by the staff, the patients, you know, I remember when I first started Ibogaine, I had a, a Slovenian woman came in there for treatment, young girl, and she was a nymphomaniac. You know, after we gave her Ibogaine, she wanted to grab and rape every man in that center. And I had to throw her out because I told her if you were in the wrong place, they would have taken advantage over you. Okay, so if you look at the countries, the countries have increased now. You know, now we've done almost 3,000 countries have increased. So we get them from all over, although majority is from South Africa. Uh, a lot of them did it for drug addiction, uh, a small percentage, 14 did it for psycho-spiritual experience. These are the breakdown of the drugs that we broke it down into uh, primary drugs and secondary drugs. Okay, and uh, these are the primary drugs and secondary drugs. Okay, that's all the different stats. These are the different ways they take it. So the phase three, uh, phase two, the waking dream experience. Now we're going to go into the experience now. The one guy is the 18 year old female alcohol and cocaine. She said every time when the nurse or the doctor left the room, she continued talking like the person was still in the room, you know. Uh, so when she opened her eyes, she realized it was gone because it must have been part through an experience. Uh, so the withdrawals and cravings, I told you, it assists 85 to 100 percent. Uh, on the first night. Only methadone and buprenorphine, often we still have a bit of a problem, but Claire will talk about uh, how to treat uh, methadone with this. Mental and emotional response, the mental recall of the mind into past experience and understanding is gained from being a dreamlike state. Now it's not the dreams that we normally define them as actually visions of the individual past, present, but also the symbolic understanding. We've had people that have got transported to heaven and hell. We've got people that basically saw the future and had some symbolic uh, significance to it. 
They had lots of different types of experience to guide them. Now, if you look at the types of experience that you have, see, hearing a buzzing sound, almost everybody experienced that. Hearing drums. Uh, I know in Gabon, they like using a lot of drums. Uh, seeing TV screens. So the pictures come not as a movie. It comes in screens. It's a screen. It comes in frames, in a form of a frame. And it shifts. And if you something's too powerful or too scary and you can't handle it emotionally, you blink, you open your eyes, it changes the picture. Yeah. But the whole idea now is about cleaning up from cellular level. It's allowing the memories to come up at cellular level, reach the, the brain, and from there get released. A lot of them after I don't speak to my wife, I don't speak to my father, I need to apologize to them, and things like that. Uh, animals, people have seen deceased people looking alive, deceased people approaching you 30%, seeing deceased people tell you something 44.7%. Seen deceased people disappear 71.5. Seen live people, seen live people approach you almost 60%. Seen live people telling you something 15%. And see live people disappearing. Uh, you want to take a picture of it? Yes. Done. Okay. okay. As long as the, the, the chairperson gives me extra time, we can take pictures. <laughs> That's a PowerPoint to people, too. That's what I do. Yeah, yeah. You can. We'll have a sheet of paper here. And if you want to just give us your emails, we'll send you. We can even send it in a Word document also. Now, the types of visions, again, a lot of them see themselves from childhood days, even from the time they're born, 74%. Traveling through their own DNA, 42%. Seeing objectives in intensive colors, 53%. Seeing scenes of violence, like, you know, a lot of them, when they're caught up in drugs, the faculty of reasoning and logic in the frontal lobe is diminished. So they can't see the pain and suffering. Even if a mother crying and begging the child, I'll kill myself, you destroy my life, the guy will look at him devoid of all feelings and emotions. So that's the beauty. The ibogaine opens that, that part of the mind, the third eye. Uh, where you're able to exit vision by opening your eyes, you see? So anything scary, you blink, 90% say yes. Where the eyes shut again, the visions continue. Did you prefer not to communicate? They don't want to talk much. Where visions char characterize complete stories, nobody said it was a complete story. That visions have an obvious meaning, 60% yes said yes. That visions help you to achieve certain insights, 75% said yes. Are the vision memories events from early childhood, 33.4% said yes. That you experience a scene of energy flow. When you take ibogaine and as it's wearing off, uh, I remember when I went to let the cat out and I took a dose and I had to walk down the stairs and when I opened the door, I saw streaks of light, pure light as a form of a gate in front of me. Sometimes if you move your arms, you can see the light passing through you. Okay. Uh, so insight into visions. So a lot of them said yes, we went to our path. 100% said yes, it gave us a purpose, a meaning in life. We understand what we are here for. Creation of humanity, uh, evolution of humanity, nothing. Evolution of the animal world, zero. And evolution of the universe, 50%. So what is the purpose of Ibogaine coming to conclusion? It not only acts at cellular level, but a mental and spiritual level as well. Most people gain insight into a past, while a third stated that they gain insight into creation. Uh, phase three, cognitive phase of deep introspection. Again, another comment. The people who made me the most happy are my parents. I've never taken the time to realize that until now. Introspection stage, now this is after the visions are gone. Did you sleep? Majority can't sleep. 50% said they could sleep. Was your spirit or mind fully awake? Even if you had two hours sleep, but you're alert and you're fresh. And when you come out of that ibogaine experience, you have an ibogaine glow on you. And when you walk out, all your five centers, your touch, vision, smell, hearing, eyesight, everything is completely at peak condition. Because the memories that block us affects our senses. Yeah, and so I know... Uh, I used to have um, I used to wear glasses for many years, and you can see I got some scars. But all the scars are not because of uh, glasses. I was also addicted to drugs for 17 years myself. Poly drug use, every drug on the market. I reached rock bottom, thrown in the mental institution, and I rose from a state rehab center, having my own private center. You know, and I'm 20 years clean now. Never had a slip or a relapse yet. I have total hatred for drugs. So I have a very good insight of what's really going on here, you know. Um, 
the theory that Ibogaine works on an intellectual level is very well validated. More out of, are you talking, not everybody, that's another thing, it's not a psychedelic. Not everybody experiences visions. 80% will get visions. 20% will have running thoughts. But they still have the same results. So, in short, taking away withdrawals, including post-acute withdrawal symptoms, stop cravings. Their cravings will come back if you go to higher risk places. Initiates cognitive and rational thinking, helps recall early childhood experience, provide a desperately needed window period for one to gain the basic life skills for true change, and as a herb is very safe and uh, non-addictive. So some quotes. After 20 years of abusing chemicals, I could not believe how quickly I recovered and felt no cravings. Prior heroin users. It was more than words can explain. I made me realize the pain I caused to my parents, friends and family members. Prior crack user. Uh, prior codeine dependent. It was hectic in that while under ibogaine, I could feel the withdrawals becoming stronger before they went away. And also having vision of the past, how my life was when I was going through and the current situation in that way. It was a bit frightening. But you see things you never expected to see. You've seen it as if it's a movie. And if you look at it realistically, it's exactly what's happening in your life. I actually call it experience fast and furious 10. You know, you experience your lifestyle. Uh, another crack addict, I had spiritual experience. I fell out being cleaned out from all misery and guilt that I felt for so many years. And now I feel reborn and want to prepare myself for future responsibilities. Uh, Addict, 18 years old, marijuana for 21 years, chronic use. It's a miracle, it's magical, it's amazing, it's unbelievable. There's no explaining it. I've been through so many withdrawals and I've took it most of my life. I've tried everything and nothing ever worked. When I took Ibogaine, I was reborn. I had visions of going back right to the beginning of life and up to my present day. Uh, alcohol and cocaine user makes, it took me back to childhood memories, which were emotional ones. I saw what my parents were feeling and all the pain I brought them. Uh, last page, it showed me my faults or what I could have done to change certain circumstances. Uh, I know where I went wrong, how I can face those challenges in a positive state. I no more have to hide behind drugs in order to get away from problems and I can face them and make positive solutions in order. Because now the mind is open up, so you start thinking out of the box. Now, as I said, ibogaine is not a cure, it's an addiction interrupter. When you walk out from an ibogaine treatment center, uh, and we have a five-day program. The reason being is because uh, we do the ibogaine in 48 hours and then we want a lot of introspection and therapy to continue after that and we complement you with a lot of holistic programs. Uh, just another thing very quickly, uh, understand that a lot of people sometimes, you know, say that they didn't have a good experience, okay? You must also understand that ibogaine works based on your intention. If you have intention to change, it is a catalyst, it will take you to the end result fast. If you don't have intention to change, you'll default in 48 hours. I've seen 5% of my patients default within 48 hours, walking out completely withdrawal free, perfectly fine, but they want to go straight for the drug. Right? Because they had no intention to change. Now it's like a truth serum. It helps me. I even take the guys to the beach on a, a midweek and I do it with one intention is to see who's the weakling and who's going to run away, who's going to make a plan. Because if you want to go, you can go, it's no problem. Yeah. Okay, so this is our treatment center, all our details are here. And thank you very much.